Hello everyone, welcome to another Still Speaks video, and we are so lucky to have the man of Sanctuary himself with us, Tatsu. Welcome, Tatsu. Hi everyone. Um, yeah, thanks for having me on. Well, thank you for being on. So guys, we have a lot to talk about for Sanctuary's development in January 2022. I keep wanting to say 2021. I stop myself. So January 2022. It's a new year. So Tatsu, Time flies, doesn't it? It sure <laughs> does. So Tatsu, <laughs> what happened with Sanctuary in 2022? January, that is. We finally made the recording with Kyle. We showed him all that we've been working on for uh, for the past year, year and a half for me, but year for the rest of the team. It was a successful vid. It's up on the Patreon now. There's like uh, lots of people uh, viewing it and enjoying it. Uh, there's two videos actually. We had to split it up into two. There's so much content that we did with that. One is a long video of like an hour where we explain the big reveal that we had to give to our fans uh, about the gameplay of Sanctuary and what makes it unique. For a year now, people have been asking, okay, yeah, you're making this game, but what, what makes it stand out? And we, we had ideas, but we didn't want to reveal it too soon or, you know, risk losing the idea to somebody else or, you know, also not getting the right wave with that. But now we thought the time was right. And so we revealed it. And also, you know, uh, uh, showcasing uh, what we have, where we're at. And then, yeah, a second video where we actually, um, just me and Gael, uh, played Sanctuary together. So yeah, that was fun. That was a big relief for our, our developers who've been hard at work for a month and a half on this demo for Gael. In an effort to, to make this demo happen, we had uh, to, to cut a lot of uh, corners in, in terms of like how we write our code and everything. We've been doing things in a process where we make frameworks, make bits of code that are extremely scalable, and we build them from start to finish with that grand, final grand vision in mind. But here to make the demo happen, we had to, you know, cut short the development process of what it, what it was supposed to be and just hack it together, get it ready in time for the demo. And that frustrated our developers quite a bit. We wanted to do things cleanly and well. In this instance, they had to do things, uh, they had to do, you know, dirty hacks to, to make the demo happen. But, you know, now we're getting things back on track. We're going to do a, a big refactor of the code. We have a lot of things to rework, particularly when it comes to the netcode and the pathfinding. There's a lot of things that we want to rework there. There's a new version of, uh, of Unity that we want to move up to. There's also a new version of ECS that's going to be coming out that we're interested interested in for the moment we're not you know jumping straight onto that ship but we're keeping an eye out for that but lots of big changes and of course um the team's scaling up still we recruited two more uh, members they, they've been with us for a bit of uh, of december but now it's official they've been announced as uh, members of the team it's uh, Zenchuk, who's a, a mapper, prop artist. Uh, he also makes VFX. He also does rigging, animation, texture, decals, materials. He does a lot of things. He's very, very handy, and he's good at all of those things. And uh, Bianca, who's our, who's going to be our marketing person, the marketing touch to to our our efforts. So yeah, the the team's shaping up. A lot of things happened in uh, in January. <laughs> wow, that is quite a bit. So I have a few questions for you. I think everybody wants to, who hasn't seen the Patreon wants to know what factions yeah. did you and Guile choose? Uh, well, uh, so uh, the demo that we put together uh, allows you to play EDA. It doesn't allow you to play Chosen or Guard. Unfortunately, oh. I'm sorry. It's not. <laughs> it's not uh, in there yet. But like you, you can you know cheat in units. Like you can uh, spawn them in with the with the cheat menu. So so that's why we had like Guard bases and Chosen bases to to showcase in the in the footage and and even you know fights with uh, with. Uh, so guard versus chosen, chosen versus EDA, guard versus EDA, all those things, and we we showcase that in the in the first one hour long video that I mentioned. But in the in the demo where me and Gal are playing, it's it's just EDA. Okay. <laughs> so sadly, I haven't seen the the video yet. Where yeah. could people see it again? Let them let them know and how yeah. to get access to it. It's on our Patreon. So what we did is uh, is we changed up the the Patreons to where it works with tiers now. It's not a on on a pay what you want model. You have to purchase into an actual tier and then you gain access to to the content. And people should know that like if you were previously already a Patreon and you had like you were you were paying like a certain amount like let's say 10 or 15 euros a month month which is like higher than our our 
tier three on our on the Patreon. That doesn't give you access to any tiers. Unfortunately, Patreon doesn't do this thing where it automatically grants access according to the sum that you're paying. It doesn't do that at all. You have to like manually go to Patreon and select a tier. And like in this case, uh, if you were paying like 15 euros a month, the the Tier three would be would be ten euros a month. Tier two is uh, is five euros a month. You'd be paying less, but we're fine with that. Don't worry. We'll select a tier. This way, you gain access to our contents. You're not going to be getting any of the new uh, posts on Patreon uh, if you don't uh, switch to to one of our tiers. So yeah, just a message to all patrons out there. Uh, sorry, you have to do this, but go go ahead and switch to a tier. And if you don't want to, and you just want to, you know, support with whatever sum you had before, that's perfectly fine. You know, just so you know, that's why you're no longer receiving posts. <laughs> so any amount, any tier will give you access to the Guile video. Absolutely, yeah. It goes as low as three euros. Uh, so, so just three euro, uh, and you'll get access to the to the Gal video. You don't even have to like stay uh, multiple months. You can just you know take it uh, and and cancel immediately. So it's just three euros. So yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. yeah I'm not like saying like you have to pay to to see the video. It, it comes out on on Gal's YouTube on the on the 11th of uh, February. So don't you know if you if you're patient, you can you can watch it as well. <laughs> I was going to get to that. I was going to get to that. Like, you don't have to pay. I, we know you're, we know you're not trying to force people to pay, but, yeah. but like, if you want access to it now, if it's like, you know, a burning desire, we got to support this, this game and we have to see this now. So as little as three euros, you could see it now yeah, or wait yeah. to February 11th, which yeah, is cool. Yeah, yeah. All right. So you mentioned a unity upgrade. So if you did a unity upgrade, how much work would that be and what was that really entail well you know it's not it's not something that we have to do but it probably is going to happen sooner or later because it's always you know a question of stability and stuff like that like right now we're we've been on a version that worked for us in terms of the amount of stability we got for the whole ecs dot stack but it's not lts version it's a beta version and that's just the, the weirdness that is Unity, sometimes beta is more stable than, than LTS uh, <laughs> for certain things. So yeah, anyways, it's not the best in some regards. It is like sometimes it can be crashy and stuff like that in an effort to gain time, dev time, you know, to, to spend less time restarting Unity or, or, or having to wait because it's not, uh, there's long loading times and stuff like that. It would be nice to, to have uh, something that runs a little bit better and, and the, the new version kind of promises that, but it does require migrating code over. That being said, you know, like, for example, Ozone preemptively migrated the, the shaders to be future proof to the new Unity version. So that's already done. And usually it's the shaders that are the, the one and only thing to break between Unity version. So, but I'm not expecting that to be the only thing. We'll probably have to, to fiddle around with, uh, with a bit of the code as well. So it might, might take, you know, like a, a week or a week and a half or maybe two weeks to do the full upgrade. But like I said, it's not an urgent thing. There's a lot of bug fixing and refactoring to do before then. Okay. Yeah. You said there was an upgrade on another thing. What was that again? The ECS framework is uh, is what we use to have our thousands of, of entities, you know, to, to manage this many, many, many entities at the same time. It's a, it's a type of a style of coding, you could say, or framework for code that Unity has a native implementation of. And it's, it's always been like in a, in a beta state and everything. And they, they're making this, this big announcement about how they're, you know, unveiling a new version of it. And it's been a long time since they, they've done that. So everybody was like saying, oh, ECS is abandoned. They've moved on. Their Unity is not going to do ECS or DOTS anymore. But no, actually, under the, the cover of, uh, of secrecy, they were still working on it and they've got this new version. We actually don't know when it's when it's going to come out exactly. It might be uh, in February, might be very end of February, maybe March. So that's a bit far into the future. We'd like to have our hands on it right now but like that <laughs> that unfortunately we're, we're just gonna have to wait and also they're gonna deploy it to unity 2020 first and foremost which kind of boggles the mind because that's you know yes it's an lts but it's a it's a two-year-old version of unity by now so anyways i digress <laughs> but it's gonna um, yeah they're they're gonna do that first because that's the, that's a the stable quote-unquote version of unity and then they're gonna uh, eventually move it up to um they might even skip 20, uh, unity 2021 and go straight to unity 2022 i don't know 
but they're they're going to go bit by bit. So first the the latest version of Unity, then eventually they're going to go up to to the other versions. And yeah, we're not so interested in in moving backwards in Unity versions. <laughs> So is that going to cause when that comes out? Will it make you have to work a little? Well, bit it depends on whether we we you know like want to to have it on the spot or not. Like we we don't necessarily what like what we have right now is perfectly functional. It's just that like we expect that there's a lot of optimization, a lot of stability, a lot of general improvements with the new version of of ECS. That's why we're interested. I mean, yeah, it's it's like one of the big cells of of Unity. Yeah, we imagine that there's going to be quite a big difference, especially when it when it's like a big revamp or, or big new version after like two years or something of, of not really having news in, in, in that department. It's probably going to be quite a, a worthwhile change. But yeah, it, it does come with that caveat of they're deploying it to Unity 2020 first. So probably going to have to wait a little longer to to get our hands on it. We might experiment with it on the on the side. But yeah, anyways. It's interesting for us because of the improvements in terms of speed that we could get from it. All right. Sounds like there's a lot of exciting things in store for your studio. I mean, that's yeah. that's a lot. So you got some mm-hmm. new employees. You got the Guile video. I mean, I'm looking forward to seeing that. I'm going to definitely find a way to get my hands on that like as soon <laughs> as possible because uh, I look forward to I really wanted to see that. So... That's exciting to me. And, yeah. you know, Unity, like, wow, that's that's going to be big. That's big. Yeah. Any news on the mapping contest? Oh, yeah. So last month we ran a map ideas contest. We announced uh, a winner. It was Wookie Guy with his Riftside map idea. And since then, Zenchuk, who I've mentioned, has been implementing that map. And you, you've uh, probably seen the results of that in announcements as well. It's a pretty cinematic looking map. It has uh, a big gaping hole with some sanctuary superstructure over it, and you can see the sun underneath. And as a matter of fact, uh, Zenchuk has also been working on another map for us. You can probably see some of that too. That's been quite nice. Now we've uh, kicked off a mapping contest. So this is contrary to the last contest. The last contest was about a map idea. This is actually making the map, so you have to, you know, go in into the Sanctuary map editor and and actually make the map. For this contest, you can, um, you know, come to Bread or Speed for ideas on uh, on what the design of the map could be. We recommend that because they'll, you know, have a better grasp on what the layout should be in terms of like, you know, wide open spaces and and stuff like that. Because in terms of gameplay, having huge mountains everywhere or not enough pathable space is not not great. They can uh, give you some ideas. Also, you can just go on your own idea if you feel like it. And yeah, for for this contest, I'll be uh, offering up uh, a a number of Steam keys. I've listed the the actual Steam keys in in that map contest channel. They're uh, worth about 800 euros total. The the stakes are a bit higher, and uh, and yeah, we want to see what what our, our community is able to come up with. Wow, 800 euros of Steam keys. Yeah, That's a lot well, yeah, of Steam and, keys. and little uh, little uh, 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 assorted goodies. It's like um, there, there's also like um, uh, a reduction, uh, sort of percent off in in certain stores and stuff like that. But you know, most of it is Steam keys. Still, I mean. That's a lot. So the winner takes all eight hundred, or is it going to be divided? Yeah, yeah. I want to. I want to do it like that because, well, like we, you know, I don't expect uh, there will be like a huge amount of, of contestants. So it's like no use splitting it up and everything. And yeah, this way it remains more enticing to 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 the contestants. I understand that like it's like less enticing if you get second place after all this effort. I'll, I'll try and see what I can throw in for like second place, third place, uh, stuff like that. But right now, I want to keep that first place prize intact and not split it up. That's a pretty good prize. Yeah. So yeah, is there anything else yeah. you would like to talk about that happened in January of 2022? No, the Gao video was like just taking all of our headspace, like literally we were moving around all of our timetables and everything in order to organize that, in order to 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 make that demo and everything. Like I said, now we're we're we want to you know breathe a sigh of relief and try to make the code clean again. <laughs> so we're gonna have to go a little bit back to the drawing board and be like, okay, uh, how do we design this that you know now we have, but how do we design it better? So that it's more performance, handles more things, uh, you know, has less bugs, etc. So that's the game plan. Yeah. 
risk for unit modeling and stuff like that it's uh it's continuing we and for likewise for unit animations we have those that are coming in like for uh, we're rigging more and more of the of the units in terms of like playable units i don't know i, I don't want to put a number in it but i feel like we're getting close to like uh 50 percent of what we were of what we were aiming for guard is is you know lagging behind and an eda is far ahead in terms of like the numbers of of uh, completely fully ready rigged and, and, and everything uh, units well, there's still a lot of animations to to add. There's like we don't we, we have like a bunch of everything which is like uh, turret rotation and stuff like that, but we don't have extra animations like for example the buildings like they're gonna have like things that rotate and stuff like that just to like all the power gens we want the the, the balls to to uh, to rotate the antenna we want them to like uh, maybe move around point around and and of course the recoil on the on the cannons we want to add that in and, and we want to ha start having more effects like. We want to have like all the tread marks for the units. We don't have that yet. We don't have Rex. We want to add that feature. We want to add Intel because we have Fog of War, right? But the Fog of War is just a shader. We don't have like hiding units in terms of what, what you send through the network. You just want to send through the network what the opponent has actually scouted or within his uh, his vision range or, or within his radar range, right? All the rest, he, he shouldn't know where, where it is. So that's a big challenge that we're going to have to tackle. All the uh, decals on the ground, the explosion marks. There's a bunch of small, like quality of life features that will really make it all come together, like uh, a little bow on top of the, <laughs> on top of that whole thing. Yeah. So these are plans for the future, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. For the coming months. Again, the big focus being reorganizing and refactoring the code. But we also want to want to throw in those features in the graphics departments. We're going to have the shield shader coming in soon. The water shader; those are going to be worked on by by Ozone. Now we have like the the specs for what we want them to be able to support and to look like and, and stuff like that. And now it's uh, it's a question of implementing them. So yeah. All right, I'm very excited to. I'm actually excited to hear that because remember last year when I asked you about water and you're like I I don't know maybe and now it's now it's happening. <laughs> This is great. Well, yeah, the, the thing is, like, we, we absolutely want water no matter yeah. what, right? Um, and so, you know, we're like, for example, sneak peek just for you, we, we have already started modeling naval units, at least, you know, one for, for each uh, faction. And we have, like, the first one from, from the Chosen, which is a battleship. Uh, and so, yeah, we are, like, planning ahead for things like Navy and everything like that in case things go well, you know? Right. <laughs> we're, we're planning for the best. So, so yeah. So Navy's not confirmed, but it's not it's, hashtag not confirmed, but hashtag you know. not confirmed. Okay. Yeah. So we hashtag got, kind of present now. <laughs> I almost got a confirmation from you, but you're working on it, so it's not confirmed. However, it is a a, a great possibility. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. All right. Well, I appreciate that. That's that's exciting to know. So where do we get all this news? Where do we keep updated on? I've been bugging my viewers about this for month after month. Where do you think it is, guys? The Sanctuary Discord server. So click the link down below, get involved with that, or the Sanctuary website. Again, the link is in down below. Are there any other socials that you would like to plug, Tatsu? That's good for now. Thank you. Thank you so much for this. Yeah, thank you very much. And indeed, the, the Discord is, is the place to be. So yeah, we're, uh, we've hit uh, 3,500 members. Uh, I'm very happy about that. Um, so yeah, it's starting to be quite the hangout. I like it. <laughs> Congrats. That's quite a yeah. number. So let's, let's make it to 4,000. Let's make it to 5,000. Yeah. Come on, let's do this. So if, you haven't, if you're on the fence, I don't see why you would be get get involved all right so i think it's time to end this so is is that it tatsu for this that's month? it for this month all right yeah. all right so i'm gonna end this like this video subscribe to my channel favorite it because that helps me out and you know join the sanctuary discord server and be sure to subscribe to guile to check out his video come february the 11th guile does a lot of great FAF stuff, so I don't know why you're not subscribed to him already. Subscribe to the Sanctuary, you know, YouTube channel, and also join the Discord. And if you want to see the Guile video right now, Patreon, Sanctuary's Patreon is where it's at. And definitely do that if you're interested. And come 
in a few months, several months maybe, there will be a Kickstarter. So look out for that because that is really what's going to really, I've said really a lot, but that's really what's going to help make Sanctuary grow and happen really, really, really happen. Wow, I, I like really a lot, don't I, guys? So anyhow, share with your friends, family, and foes because they need something interesting to watch as well. And as always, everyone, G-G.